All right, YouTube, what's going on? We're doing another knife review for you today, and today we're looking at the DPX Gear Heat. This is the shred carbon fiber version, which is actually an exceptionally good looking knife. Uh, I think it's really dope. The DPX Heat is an interesting design. Um, again, it's spurred on, like I mentioned in my CRT, Sierra KT Squid video, about a recent. Um, change in the knives I could carry to work so I've been looking at smaller blades um, and the squid was kind of the introductory knife you know it's in a budget knife and you know I wanted something with a little bit better steel a little bit better materials um, wouldn't mind spending a little bit more money on it so a little higher in a carry you know so I was looking at a few of these and the DPX gear heat was one that really caught my eye especially after handling it in person um, I really like the way it looked there's quite a few variations of this knife the, this is the shred carbon fiber, like I mentioned. This is the newest variation, and it is a solid piece of carbon fiber. Um, there's no liner, just carbon fiber with the titanium lock side. So I love that kind of design. I love when that's executed correctly, it, it works well. I don't think there's a need for a liner there. Carbon fiber is a strong material. So, but the heat is made by Lion Steel for DPX gear. So DPX gear doesn't actually make knives; they just design them. And they're all made by Lion Steel. Lion Steel makes exceptional knives, very good quality. So, comes in your typical DPX gear with your uh, DPX guy there with the skull and the hat. And it comes in a little box here. Now you do have um, just your standard packaging there, really. But you do have a glass breaker that comes on the knife that is removable. And for me, a glass breaker on this size of knife just did not make much sense, and it was a little more uncomfortable to. To grab out of the pocket so the nice thing is they gave you this extra screw here to replace it with and you don't have to worry about that so i think that's a nice feature um the heat again shred carbon fiber this is using i believe sleepner yep sleepner steel which is a german equivalent to d2 uh, maybe a little bit more corrosion resistance a little bit better edge retention but very very similar to d2 um i could be wrong in the edge retention department there but i know it is a little more corrosion resistant then on this side you have a titanium frame lock that has kind of a dark stone washing on it with your deep carry pocket clip that is reversible left or right hand. You just flip it around there so that it is, this is a lefty friendly knife. What I liked so much about the Heat is that it has a full size handle. Um, a lot of these small knives they are just, I don't have big hands by any means, I have medium sized glove. But look at that, I get a full size grip on that knife. I have all four fingers on there with a little room to spare. I really like that. Um, the, you've got this great handle geometry here that comes up and gives you a nice choil here for your fingers. And then you've got a little bit of a blade guard there, so you're not going to slip up on the blade in any way. So it's just a really well thought out design. Um, basically, I think they took the, the uh, Hest and just kind of shrunk down the hand a little bit and gave it a small enough blade, again, where you know it's a little bit more sheeple friendly. And... Um, you know, for my new office policies, this works really well. So you still got a good amount of cutting edge. You can still do your necessary EDC tasks, but you've got a full-size handle to do it with. So in the hand, it's just super comfy. I mean, it's just a very well... The ergonomics on this knife are outstanding, so I highly recommend that. Uh, it is a titanium frame lock. There is no steel lock bar insert, which I'd really like to see, but uh, there is no stick on this one. I did handle a full titanium version that had... A great amount of lock sticks so um, that is one thing I would say about uh, these DPX knives every one I've had the ha I've had a few hats have all had kind of sticky lock and it, you know simple fix would be a still lock bar insert or you know doing a little bit better geometry on the lock bar but this one is a good example it's stuck a little bit there but um, I've been using this one carrying it for quite a few weeks now and it um, it's just great I mean no issues with the stick. So I just handled one. Uh, once I had the shred carbon fiber in my hand, I knew this is the one I wanted. It is lighter weight than the other ones. Um, actually, it's probably similar to the G10 version, but the titanium was a little bit heavier, so I went with the carbon fiber. Weighs in at 3.9 ounces, so just under 4 ounces. Good size. Good weight for EDC. It's a little bit larger than the Squid, so it doesn't fit as well in my... Um, yeah, it's quite a bit thicker too. You can see the squid is a really thin, um, small knife. Um, so the DPX gear, you get a full-size handle, 
but you get a smaller inch blade so if you have restrictions on blades um, lengths this is a great option for you because you get a full size handle with a knife it does have titanium or excuse me just looks like stainless steel standoffs open construction and um, you have this uh, lanyard hole here if you want to throw a lanyard on there the carbon fiber let's just take a, a quick sec to look at that and just how awesome it looks it's what they call shred carbon fiber and I've seen this used on custom scales but I've never actually seen a production company use shred carbon fiber so I thought that was pretty cool I love carbon fiber so but that's just a cool variation of carbon fiber you got your blacked out screws it's kinda of got a blacked out look it's a little more stealth I guess you'd say um, you do have your this typical um, bottle opener wave feature here um, the wave feature works okay it's definitely no Emerson wave and on a knife like this, you don't need to wave it open real quick. It's not a little tactical knife. But the bottle opener functionality is pretty useful if you need to open a bottle and you got your knife on you. So, my bit, like I said, my favorite thing about the knife, though, is the ergonomics are outstanding. You get one of these in hand, and it's just phenomenal ergonomics. So, let's compare this little guy to a very, very similar knife in the same price range. It would be the Spyderco Techno. And as you can see here, it does give you more handle than the Techno. So... If the Tetanol is a little small for you, and I'm trying to go, if I went pivot to piano, let's just go top to top there. You can see you've got quite a bit more handle there on the DPX. Blade lengths are very, very similar. Actually, I think the cutting edge on the Tetanol is a little bit longer, even. So, the, like I said, this is kind of a, not an optimal blade to handle ratio knife in any way, shape, or form. But I don't think that was the design. I think they designed it with a full-size handle to have a smaller blade to meet um, specifications. So the Tetano, if you went cutting edge to cutting edge, you're pretty close. You're under two and a half inches there with the Tetano, and I think it's two and a quarter. Um, it's a hair over two and a quarter on the DPX. So I'll put the actual specs down there below. But you can see they're very similar size knives. So they're they're both great knives. Um, they're a higher quality knife than like the CRKT, CRKT Squid. So if you're you know wanting to carry something a little nicer, but you have a blade limitation, you want to you know like maybe a titanium frame lock, higher end steel. Both the uh, Heat and the Techno are great options. The Techno's been out a long time. Um, the Heat has been out a while as well, but this is the latest and greatest variation. I think it's the best personally. Um, I do like the full titanium one as well. Again, made by Lion Steel in Italy. You can see that right in there. Maybe if the camera will focus, you can. You can kind of make that out. Lion Steel Italy. Lion Steel makes good knives. No doubt about it. It's got a smooth action. It's Because of the design of the knife, it's very... Oh, you can flick it open, but it's more of a smooth you know, motion like that. Upswept with the thumb stud than you know, a, a flicker out kind of knife. There's no hole or anything to flick it. I've, I've gotten to the point where I can get my thumb in there. Eh, see, it's, it doesn't work every time, but again, this kind of style of knife is really not one that you're trying to deploy quickly, I don't think. It's, you know, a, like I said, a people-friendly knife. I call them sheeple, but, you know, whatever. So you need to kind of take this out, cut up your kid's apple at the Costco, and you don't want your knife freaking out because you have a, your wife freaking out because you have a six-inch cold steel on you. <laughs> um, you know... This is a good option for that, so that was actually a, a poke at one of my buddies. Um, anyway, guys, the DPX here, Gear Heat is a great option. They, they don't use a proprietary pivot. They use just a standard Torx pivot now, which is nice upgrade. I know some of the old DPX products used a proprietary pivot, which no one's a fan of proprietary fit pivots. They may look nicer, but come on. We all want to be able to use Torx bits. You know, We all want, want to be able to use those to take apart our knives. So it does fall into the, um, you know, Smaller knife category with a full-size handle. There's not a lot of knives in that category, really. And if there is, you know more of, please let me know. The Techno, again, is smaller, but you don't get as much hand on your, you know, and I wear a medium glove. So if you wear a larger than medium glove, you're going to have a hard time with this little guy. This is an extremely popular knife, and I think there's a good reason it's a great knife. But I actually like the DPX a little bit better, I think. Um, this is the first knife that I spent a decent amount of money on in this size range because I really enjoyed it. So, um, any suggestions, guys? And the other one I'm looking at for this size is the Brow Silent Soldier. It's got a flipper, but it has a pretty small blade. I think it's two and a quarter inch. So, right around there in that same. Um, it looks a little more menacing though, with the hole in the handle and all, or the knife and all that. So, here's an example of a few of these little guys. So, 
Looking for more suggestions in this range. Um, here's a Swiss Army knife. That's always a good option. But surprisingly, it has a longer blade. <laughs> Even though it's non-locking. Yeah, anyway. That's a Victorian knife. Actually, that's a Winger Soldier there. But some size comparisons for you. So um, the, the, the DPX Gear Heat is actually a pretty thick knife. I think it measures over a half inch. Let's double check. Oop. We're looking at the tire handle. Um, yeah, just right around, just over a little hair over a half inch thick. So it was a little bit thicker knife. Um, but, you know, it gives you that kind of beefy feel in your hand. It just, like I said, it has a great feeling. Like it feels like a bigger knife that you could do a lot of good work with, but you've got a smaller blade. So. Um, ed edge came very very sharp from the factory. Yeah, it's very very sharp. Um, hasn't needed a touch up, and I've used it quite a bit um, in office scenarios. So uh, environment. So it is what it is. Um, this is the DPX Heat Shred Carbon Fiber. Um, very cool little knife. I highly recommend it if you have to carry a smaller knife, or if you just like small beefy frame locks. This is a great option for you. It's nice and smooth. Got good lock up. The shred carbon fiber is really good looking. Um, the, the black wash finish or dark stone wash, whatever you want to call it, on the blade is you know really attractive. You got your I could do without the DPX gear logo there, but that's okay. Not a big deal. And then you've got your second logo here on this side. So very cool little knife, guys. If you like smaller frame locks, or if you want you know a sheeple friendly knife, or if you have restrictions on blades, you can carry. Great option. Um, cost wise, right under 200 bucks, I think. I think it was 200. Picked this up locally from Blade Ops. And I think I paid right around 200 for it. So, for the quality and materials used, I think that's a good deal. I mean, you get titanium, you get carbon fiber, you get high end steel, made in the US, actually, excuse me, made in Italy. But, uh, you know, Italy is known for its craftsmanship and for cutlery. So, you're definitely getting a nice product there. I think it's definitely worth the, the dollars it's asked for. So, Any questions or comments on this little guy, leave them down below, and we'll see you on the next one.